Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Could this be worst day ever? Probably. Okay, fingers are crossed that this doesn't crash. It's crashed four times now. I've been trying to go live since, like, ten minutes ago. So, fingers are crossed. Don't go to a black screen. Eek. Oh, my gosh, a comment. <gasps> Thank the Disney gods up above. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm going to put that. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys. It has been... Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. So, here's the deal. I normally get up around now. Like... I know that's horrible to say, but I normally get up around 9.30. But Sean has been challenging Ken to get up early. So we had to take baby steps. So one day it was 9.25, and then 9.15, and then <laughs> 9. Well, today was the 8.45 day, which is good because the Disney Digital Mystery Box... What? What? What's happening? Okay, the Disney Digital Mystery Box launched. Okay, so it's good I was up, because normally I'm just getting up right now, and you guys do not want to see me in the morning. In fact, some people say, Ken, why are you so short with me? It's because in the morning when you text me, I'm not all with it. It takes me a while. It takes me like a, a like you know, a good hour to get going. So if, you te if I text you between the time I wake up and that good hour, no bueno. Okay, let's dive right into it, and then we have a lot of stuff to talk about. This is the earliest digital, or the earliest Ken from the car, so this could be quite interesting. I'm just drinking home-brewed coffee. Oh, it's great! But <laughs> God, that's horrible! We gotta suffer through. Didn't have time to go to Starbucks. Okay. I gotta calm down, because I, I'm shaking, because I'm so excited for this digital mystery box. Okay. So you guys all know I'm a huge Disney fan. This digital mystery box is only $29.99. And if you're a premium access member, you get 50% off, which brings it down to like $14.99. You need to get this box. Do you want to see what's in? Oh, if you're not a premium access member, sign up for that first. I have the link down below. Then get the digital mystery box so you get the 50% off, okay? So it's, it, it's $29.99. Do you guys want to see what's in the digital mystery box? Do you? Do you? Do you? I'm sure you've already seen it because everyone else has went live with it. I've had technical issues. Okay. So. Ooh, Miss Kate Cuttables, you should show up to my live tonight. That's all I'm saying. Okay. So. This is the first thing in the digital mystery box. Now, these are called Tsum Tsums. Or they're not, they start with the T. They're not to Tsum to Tsum. But it's Tsum Tsums. Look at how cute. Now, what's... That is a nice car. Okay, so my dogs are barking, so if you hear them, I'm sorry. Okay. So here it is. Um, I'm not sure. I, when I put it in my cart, it gave me 50% off. I don't know. I should check that. I thought you do get 50% off, but we should check that. Use the link down below. Okay, so what's cool about these Tsum Tsums, oh, there's a lot of Tsum Tsum... Um, images on the internet. This is the first one that has the butts. I love the butts. Look at Mickey's butt. So you can make this into a card, weld it at the top. Get what I'm saying? So weld his ears to these ears and it could be a card that flips open. Right? So Tsum Tsums, you're going to get 18 Tsum Tsums. Um, and you're going to get Mickey, Pluto, Pooh, which I just saw the Pooh movie. Super cute. You're going to get Chip. I wonder why you don't get Dale. Oh my gosh, that is peripheral treatment. Wait, is that a word? Peripheral treatment? I'm not sure. Then you get um, Daisy, you get Donald, you get the cat from Aristocats, you get um, the bunny from Alice in Wonderland, you get the cat from Alice in Wonderland, you get Eeyore, Stitch, oh, there's Dale. Ha 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 ha, he's right there. <laughs> Dumbo, Goofy, Minnie, Piglet, Tigger, and Alice. So you do get Dale, I'm an idiot. Super cute, right? Okay, so that's the first thing in the Disney Mystery Box. Now, you can't have Tsum Tsums without Tsum Tsum font. So this is actually will get loaded into your font. You get the entire alphabet, numbers, and characters. Tsum Tsum font, think of it as, I look at this as kind of like, you know when you go to the fair and they make the little balloon animals and, they, and then they twist it into things? That's what I think it is. Or it kind of looks like clouds. I love this font, okay? So, so far we have Tsum Tsum. Oh my God, if my camera falls, everyone needs to take a moment of silence. 
I'm shaking. Look at my papers. What is wrong with me? This early, this early morning stuff does not agree with me. Okay. Oh, the link's down below if you want to buy this mystery box. So there it is. The Zoom 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 font. Okay, guys, are you ready? Shut the front door. Oh, Zootopia. Look, this is, okay, so when Zootopia came out, I was like, this movie is going to be stupid. It's about animals living in a world. So it's like, I didn't get it. And then I saw it. Oh my gosh. So I know, I'm going to put this on the whiteboard. A ton of people have been asking, will there ever be a Zootopia? And look. Oh my goodness. So I see an alert that said, um, it's not supposed to be 50% off, but they're going to fix it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You got the discount. See, I got the discount when I tested it this morning. So I can't guarantee that discount will work all day, but it seems to be working right now. But look at this, Zootopia. So you have, of course, the chief, the little fat cat like me that likes donuts. You have everyone, you guys. And it also has my favorite Zootopia characters, which are the sloths. Look at it. That is so cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. So cute. But wait, there's more. I've never seen this show, but I asked my pseudo nephew about it and he likes it. So it's called Disney's Lion Guard. Do you guys know what Lion Guard is? I don't think it's Lion King. I don't understand what it is, but it looks like it's Lion King. But instead he's got like a little mohawk, which are popular right now. Like I know all the little kids in their photos have mohawks. I tried doing a mohawk, but it's not working so well. Okay, so look how cute it is. I don't know what it is, but it's super, super, super cute. Um, these are layered images. In fact, I think all of them are layered images. My poor dog is having a heart attack inside. It's Simba's son. Simba got busy. Him and Nala had a date night and they made a little baby and they got them their own show. Good job, Simba. <clears throat> got a little excited there. All right, so. This is another Disney movie. I didn't go see in the theaters because I, I was like, it looks stupid. And then I went and saw it in my house, not in a theater. Super cute. Oops. But I guess, oh my gosh, you guys, my coffee is kicking in. <gasps> Excuse me. So they have a show now? Okay, so it says, dang it, not 50% off anymore. Can't guarantee the 50% off. If you got 50% off, woo, woo, raise the roof. If you didn't, I'm sorry. It sounds like there was technical difficulties. So look, oh my gosh, so Tangled has a series. I don't know who this is. Who's that? Does anybody watch this series? Who is that girl? She looks like the bad girl, but I don't know. But this has got Rapunzel. It's got that little um, frog. I, obviously I don't watch this enough, but it was a super cute thing. Her hair changes colors and then she cuts it short and then Elsa shows up to her wedding. That's a fact. I've watched many YouTube videos. Okay, I'm gonna save my favorite to last, but here is the next one. So this is called Disney Classic Scenes. Now on this one, you'll notice it's kind of, there's some draw images, see? Draw images. Oh my gosh, $30 is a great deal for Disney. The very first time Disney released a cartridge, this was back in the day when it was like the expression machine, it was like $119. Like cartridges used to be, oh my gosh, I sounded like I was going through puberty there. Um, cartridges used to be so expensive and now they're like way better. Okay, so look, look at, you have Pinocchio and the whale, or is he walking up? Oh, he's just in the whale, how cute, because the whale ate him. And then you have ones that you can draw. You know what, I'm starting to think that uh, doing mystery, digital mystery box from the car is not the best way because holding this up is not good. Okay, we have to calm down. This is the best part of the box. So last year, many of you know, I went to Disneyland with my brother and it was during Halloween time. And they have something there called Mickey's Not So Scary um, Halloween Party, I think. And at first I didn't think I was gonna like it and I loved it. You guys, oh, OMG, let's all calm down. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is called Disney's Mickey and Friends Spooktacular, which I think is Disney World's version of Mickey's 
not so scary Halloween party. So like the West Coast, it's called Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. And I think the, the East Coast, it's called Spooktacular. But look at this set, you guys. Look at it. They're all dressed up in costumes with their trick or treat buckets. Oh, this, okay, I'm not gonna lie. This is worth the entire $30 in my opinion. So these are cut layers. You could do print and cut. Remember, anything in Cricut, you can make into print and cut, even other people's images. So Miss Kate's Cuttables, if you bought one of their images and it is a fully cut image, even though they give you the file to make already print and cut, but still, you can actually change anything in Cricut Design Space by hitting the flatten and then it's print and cut. It's that easy. But look at this. You guys, this is worth the entire box in itself. Maybe this is getting harder because I'm getting fatter. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm like Alice and it's, I'm getting bigger because I took a pill. Okay, so this is so cute. So let's recap. Okay, listen. Listen, everyone. We're recap. Oh, wait. That's not right, is it? Listen. We're going to recap what comes in this digital mystery box. Oh, good. Okay, so I was wrong. Oh my gosh. Okay. I am so excited. You guys have no idea how excited I am for this box. So I just got access to it. We just found out about it. And just to let you guys know, um, I may have been at the Crooked uh, Makeathon. I may have went into their store and I may have seen other Zoom Zooms displayed. So that's all I'm going to say. But I don't know. Oh, wait, no, it was these ones. Never mind, don't listen to Ken, because there's Pooh, there's Eeyore, and Tigger, and those are the ones that were on display. But if you are a Patreon of Ken's Creations, I released some Zoom Zooms yesterday. They were Monster Inc. Zoom Zooms, and I have a lot more. But some of them, I'm going to have to cancel now, because I had a lot of these Zoom Zooms I was going to release, but now why would you need them if you're Disney, if you get this box? Which you need to get this box. First of all, let's recap. Zoom Zooms, super cute. What's cute about these? Um, oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, KK10 will not work. So our codes that Cricut gives us do not work on digital goods and on like new items and machines. But this is awesome. This is $29.99 and these are licensed Disney images. Now, the reason I like these Zoom Zooms is you get the butts. You very rarely get the butts on Zoom Zooms, okay? Um... So Linda says, I ordered and the 50% off did apply. So some people are getting 50. I don't know if I got it, but then someone said they fixed it. So I don't think it's working anymore if you're premium. So there is Zoom Zooms. You get the butts. And what I'm saying, I don't know if you guys can see that, but you could weld the top of their little heads and you can make it into a card. Premium actually is a yearly fee. So you pay in a year for the year and then you get... Um, it's a really good deal because you get 50% off digital images. So basically, if you buy a digital cart, you're getting 50% off, but it doesn't work on licensed images. So for example, um, Lori Whitlock is a licensed provider. They don't discount her stuff. They don't discount Disney, that kind of stuff. So anyone that actually submits designs don't get 50% off. All right, so to go with your Zoom Zooms, you're gonna get Zoom Zoom font, which I think is super cute because it's kind of got that puffiness to it. You can do a shadow layer behind it. Love Zoom Zooms. All right, so here is the next set you're gonna get in this box, which is Lion Guard. I haven't seen it, but it's, I guess, about Simba's love child. Um, That's not true, it's not a love child. It was, okay, but you know what? I was disturbed in middle school because we had to watch, wait, maybe it was high school. I don't know, it was like Blue Planet, but it was different, and you had to watch animals killing each other, which I don't do well with. Like, even if it's fake, I don't do well with it. Like, in The Meg, I just watched The Meg, and they, Spoiler alert, the Meg eats a baby humpback whale. I think it's a humpback whale. And I cried. Like, <laughs> so I was like, are you crying? You know, that's a digital whale, right? And I was like, that's so sad. Like the whale like comes up and he's like, Ooh, like crying for help. And they're like, where's the mom? And then the Meg goes, Ow. I cried. <laughs> that's embarrassing, Ken. Okay, so this is the line. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is Disney's Lion Guard, which is about Simba's baby, I guess. And he has a little mohawk. I swear, is that? Okay. All right. They were so cute and they, I can't talk about it. 
Oh my god, see, I'm gonna start crying. I cannot handle watching animals die, even if it's fake in movies. I know that's so stupid, but it's so true. <laughs> so here is Zootopia. Zootopia comes with 32 images. And all of them are, uh, most of them are in their police outfits. They have, of course, the main characters running because they run a lot in that movie. And um, they have the villains. They have my sloths, which are my favorite. The one thing they don't have, which I wish they did, is I really, really wish they had this. So this guy in the movie, let me show you. This guy in the movie dresses up like a little elephant baby and goes, Brrr. and I wish they had that image because it's literally my favorite He's so cute in that little outfit. But still, Zootopia, cute, right, right. Here's the other set of those images. Cute, 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 cute. You get all of these images in the digital mystery box. This is a must. Digital mystery boxes are hit and miss for people, I know. But this one, everyone should get because these are a must. You also get Disney Tangled, the series. That one you get 12 images. Then you get Disney classic scenes, which are classic scenes from Disney. Um, look at that. And then, of course, my favorite is the Disney Mickey Spooktacular. So cute, right? All right, so I see a lot of people questioning. So Disney Premium, technically you're not supposed to get discounts if they are a licensed image. So... There's been confusion all morning. Some people are getting discounts early in the day. Sounds like Cricut fix that and you don't get it. So if you guys want to get this box, the link is down below. If you use that link, it helps support Ken's creations. Thank you very much. So use that link down below. Um, and this box is $29.99. So if you think about it, you are getting a whole font set. You're getting then also, why are these all backwards? So you're getting... You're getting over 90 images. It's about 94, 95 images, plus an entire font set. So this box for $30 is a no-brainer. Now, digital mystery boxes are um, not a physical box. They're not selling it to you. Uh, or, I mean, they're selling it to you, but they're not shipping it to you. So you are going to get these right away. Um, and I don't know how... Usually these are available for about a week until the next mystery box comes out. Or a week or until the next mystery box comes out. Um... So there's nothing, see, look at how cute. This is a must. You guys need to get this. The Zoom Zooms with the butts are cute. Stitch is on there, who's one of my favorite Disney characters. He's really big in Hawaii. Hawaii, but I mean, the Disney uh, Mickey and Friends Spooktacular. I mean, look at that. You can make trick or treat bags with that on that. You can make shirts with that. It's so cute, you guys. This is a must. Everyone's, a, I'm a Disney fan. I know there are some Disney fans not out there or non-Disney fans. They're like, it's cute, but it's not my jam. Disney's my jam. I love Disney. And we went to the Alunalani or Alani and it's beautiful. I still haven't been to Disney World, which was killing me because I was in Orlando and I couldn't go, but it's got tangled. So if you guys want to look, uh, or we can look, take a look at that, but let's talk about some other stuff. I need to get some air on going. Okay. So you need to get, would it be difficult to layer on for iron on? <clears throat> um, I would probably do print and cut for iron on, like printable iron on. Um, and the only reason why is, so for example, let's look at the spooktacular. Where is that one? You probably have, you know, for example, if you look at this, even this little guy here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six layers. So I don't know if you know the trick to iron on. So iron on, you only want to probably do max of three layers because then it gets bulky. But there is a trick where people slice it. So it's all one level. It's all one layer, I should say. So basically what I mean by that, and I should do a video on this, is you can take his outfit where the white is and, and slice it into where the black is and then think of it as a puzzle. Those white pieces just go into where the black is. So really then all you have is one layer. The problem with that is lining it up and stuff like that. So I would probably just do printable iron on. That's what I would do. However, it's your shirt, so you can jam up how you want to. Oh my gosh, look at She's a little cute scarecrow. How fun. So this is a must, you guys. I 
am a firm believer. So what what I'm excited about on this is not only is it a digital mystery box for only thirty dollars and you get like a hundred Disney images, it's telling me that Disney or Cricket is bringing out a lot more Disney stuff. I mean, they've released new Star Wars sets. They've released now all of this. They've released um, uh, Avengers. Um, what else have they released? They've released the villain set. So I'm really excited because Disney characters are. Um, or Cricket has the license for Disney. So no other company does, like Silhouette doesn't, um, Brother Scan and Cut doesn't. So it's really, 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 really cool. Um, and it tells me that they're coming out with more. I hear it all the time. Can they come out with this set? You know, can they, when they released that Frozen cartridge, it was huge. Like people pooped themselves. I do wish they would release kind of some more boy um, stuff. I mean, that one has some good stuff and I know they've released Marvel, but there's some like Wreck-It Ralph would be huge. So it has a movie coming out. I don't, I don't know that they're releasing one, but wouldn't that be awesome? I loved Wreck-It Ralph. All right, time to drink. Okay. So did you hear of, oh, you guys probably don't know who Graveyard Girl is, but there's, a, well, we'll just skip it. Okay. Yes. I was actually just bringing this up. Um, <sighs> so, Miss Kate Cuttable says, so the Etsy sellers do not have license to sell this. So, I, <laughs> that's a Pandora's box if I ever had one. Um, technically, people are not supposed to be selling Disney stuff without their okay. Um, and there's very gray zone. Some people say, like, if it's your own artist's interpretation of that, you can do it. But even when I went to Disney, I did a, I took one of their pins. I don't know if you remember this. If you're a Patreon, you do. But it's the Death Star, and it has all the characters walking in the Death Star. And we made that for Sean, and it had an orange moon for the Death Star. And then... There was glue in the dark pieces there and people loved it. They lost their crap for it. Well, I made that image based on a Disney trading pen. So I told Sean, we're not selling this. We're not giving out the image and stuff. We had Disney employees coming up saying, which shop did you buy that shirt in? So we can tell our, because we had people coming up all the time asking, because I made one for me, my brother and, and Sean. And I was like, we made it for ourselves. And I that's the thing you can make stuff for yourself you just can't sell stuff you can't go in and sell the the image or you can't go in and you know make the shirt and sell it for profit but you can make it yourself so you could take any of these images make a shirt wear it to disneyland you just can't you know you can't sell it so um disney is very protective over their properties very protective which I get it. But let me just tell you, if you go five steps out of Disney, they're all selling non-Disney stuff. So I was joking, did not mean to start a tangent. Well, tangents are easy for Ken. It is an interesting thing because like licensing was never a big deal back in the day with cartridges. So here is the funny thing is, is as we've gotten more in the digital age, it's become a much bigger thing. I mean, if you think about it, really, you can go to Google Images and get any image into Cricut or Silhouette or any of them. So, but I got so much crap. You guys want to hear another story? Here's another little tangent for you. So when I started doing videos, one of the first videos I did for Silhouette is how to trace in Silhouette. And the image I used was Mickey Mouse for like trace. And then I used, I think a stamp, someone's stamp and showed that how you can do it. The hate comments on that video, you shouldn't be showing this. That's Disney intellectual property. That stamp is someone else's image. You should, I mean, I got murdered in comments and I left them all up because my whole point was I'm not selling it. Can't sell it. People can't sell it. All right. So that is the digital mystery box. We can um, take a peek at it a little bit later so you guys can see it. Um, so to answer the question earlier, yes, it is extremely smoky in Spokane. So they basically say, here's your air quality and red like is like 175 or something. Like that means don't go outside. And we're like at 185. Like literally you should not be outside. Um, I've had to use my inhaler, which I usually don't use, but it's so bad. So, so bad. Um, my plants are dying. That's awesome because it's so hot. Um, I don't even know why we have so much smoke. Obviously, there must be fire somewhere, but I don't know where they're at. I need to pay attention, but I've been traveling too much. All right. So, ooh, I got a fortune cookie. Let's see what my fortune is. Do you guys want to see what my fortune is? Do you guys play the game where you put in bed afterwards? Take a trip with a friend for renewal and good luck. I don't like 
Ugh. I don't like fortune cookies. I forgot. Um. All right. So I want to talk about. Went to Orlando. Super quick trip. I want to tell you now. I know how little kids feel because I went to Orlando. We land. The hotel that I was teaching a class at was literally right next to Universal Studios. Like you could look out the window and see you because Universal Studios has a water park. I think it's called Volcano Bay because it's got a huge volcano. You could see it and I couldn't go. Do you know how hard it is to fly all the way to Florida and not go to Disney World or Universal Studios? <sighs> it's hard. Let me tell you. Um, I am not a big pumpkin spice fan. Oh, for those of you who are watching this later and not live, follow along with the chat, which would be, if you're looking at it, do you, does anybody else do this? I'm such an, as, uh, so the, they taught me this in first grade and I've used it ever since, like left and right. So I'm like, follow the chat on the right side. And I literally do it in, <laughs> I get so embarrassed when I'm in stores and stuff. I'm like, right. He's like, are you kidding me? You still do that? I'm like, Sean, don't judge. Sometimes some things work and they're simple, and you don't need to reinvent the wheel, right? So this works for me. I was like in ninth grade when I was still doing the bunny thing where you, wait, no, I was doing tying my shoes with like the, you make a loop, a loop, and then he tears it. I'm like, and then he, everyone was like in ninth grade, they're like, you need to tie your shoes like an adult. Well, then I realized as an adult, there are shoes that are already tied and you can just slip in. That's what I do now. Boom, done. Um, I'm so excited for tonight's live. You guys have to, have to, have to join me. Um, I'm showing you how to make cards in less than five minutes. Um, a very, very cool stuff, a way of doing it. And then also how you can use the same paper sets to create beautiful layouts. Um, I'm really excited for it because here's the deal. Sometimes we buy stuff online and then we get it and it's not up to our expectations. Then the opposite happens every once in a while where you buy something and you have not low expectations, but you're like, hmm, not sure. And you get it and you're blown away. So I'm super excited for it because I was, this is a, a box that I opened and I was blown away, literally. Um, yeah, don't worry what the haters think. Believe me, I, I do that every day. Um, all right. That is such a good, I can't keep looking at this digital mystery box. So if you want other Tsum Tsums, like I said, my Patreon link is down below. I am releasing a whole series of Zoom Zooms. Mine don't have the butts. I apologize. But like I just released Monsters, Inc. I have some other ones coming out. I won't release the ones that Cricket just released because um, obviously if you're a Cricket fan, you already have those. Well, maybe my Silhouette fans want it. But still, um, I will be releasing. I have like a hundred of them coming out. They take forever to do. So I'm just still learning Adobe Illustrator. Um, because I've talked to a lot of designers and I used to use Inkscape and I wasn't so good at Inkscape. So I downloaded Adobe Illustrator and it helps me design files. And it's just been a slow process because I don't know it and trying to get it, but I'm getting it down now. So it's getting easier. So if you are a patron and you use some of my files and they're kind of wickety wackety, just remember I am not a full fledged designer and I'm just doing this for my Patreon. So they get access to those files. That's how I created my Golden Girl files. Um, the So my set for Monsters, Inc., I think, was Soli, Mike, Boo, the one guy that has the glasses that sets up stuff, and then Randall. I think that was it. It's my favorite Pixar movie. Okay, so let's talk about... Um, what were we going to talk about? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's talk about the movies we saw. So... What? Ricky Fart. First of all, that's a hilarious screen name. The fool doth think he's wise, but the wise... I can't. I can't. That's too much. That's too deep for Ken. <laughs> okay, so we saw Christopher Robin. So Christopher Robin, um, super cute. I'm so bummed out, though, because I watched Christopher Robin, and if you haven't seen it yet, they, they take the stance of the old poo characters. Not any white bands yet, but now that you say that, if a white band's coming, I'm going to block you from my channel. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't block people. Maybe I do. You never know. Oh my God. I look so... See, you said that and now there is like 17 cars. It's 1030 in the morning. Who's up already? That's so early. I get in so much trouble. Sean 
is a morning person. So he gets up at like five, six, seven. Like I stay up until like two or three in the morning and there's so many cars all of a sudden. And then I sleep in. But he's challenging me to get up because supposedly this is my job now and I have to get up and do things. <laughs> but, tangent, sorry. Um, it's legit. So a lot of people have been asking me what's wrong with me. And I'm like, well, there's, you need to talk to my psychologist for that. But, so a lot of people are saying, what's wrong with me? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? And they said, well, when you respond to me, it's like a one word or a this or that. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So in the morning when I wake up, I legit, um, it takes me a good hour. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it takes me an hour to wake up. And so I want to respond to people because I wake up and have anywhere between 25 to 50 private messages and over a hundred emails. And it's very important. I'm a firm believer, respond to people because that's the reason I get to stay at home is because of all of you amazing people, but I want to catch up on them. So it's like usually one word answer. And so I legit get people being like, are you okay? Cause I watch your videos and you can't shut up. And now you're responding to me. So I found out that I'm going to start using just my voice where you can just talk and it dictates and then it sends it to you. Yeah. Hey, Jessica, what's up? Um, all right. So let's talk about, since that was a tangent, thank you for going along with me. That was much fun. Um, let's talk about Christopher Robin. So the, it's super cute. It's super kind of cheesy. It's typical. Kind of reminded me of Hook. He forgets about him, kind of. He doesn't ever forgets about him, but he grows up. He becomes an adult. Adult problems, you know, he's adulting. And um, then Pooh comes back into his life. Not the Pooh, but Pooh Bear. And all the other characters. The reason I loved it, number one, is they used the old version of the characters. So they're, like, super, like, kind of old-looking. Tigger actually even has gray in his, like, face. And... Um, it's classic Pooh Bear. So basically Tigger sees himself in the reflection and starts fighting with himself and, you know, Eeyore's super depressed and, um, and stuff. So it was really cute. Well, you guys know me. I love stuffed animals, right? Here's the deal. They released stuffed animals based on these characters. So you have Pooh Bear, you have Tigger, you have Piglet, you have Eeyore, you have, um, the kangaroo and her baby. I never remember their names. I think it's, one's called Ra, I think. I don't know. And... So Disney released them. They're $29.99 a piece. They sold out in like, I think half a day. Pooh Bear, who is originally $29.99, is going on eBay for like $150 to $200. They are not going to be back in stock until October. Some of them you can't even buy. So I told Sean I want them for my birthday. I was like, I don't know how you're going to do it, but you need to make it happen because I want all of them. I want every single one of them because they're so cute. They look identical to what they are in the movie identical. Okay. So we saw that movie super cute. Um, except for a parent. Okay. I'm going to go on another little tangent here. So I'm not one that usually goes and complains to managers, but I did on this one. So a parent brought five kids, not a big deal, but then halfway through the movie, they gave one of the kids the, their phone. Cause they must've been getting bored or something. The next thing I know, he must be looking for something. He turns the flashlight on his iPhone and his looking for things so it's like bouncing off the walls and he's talking and I'm thinking oh the parent will step up right the parent will say shh we don't you know we don't talk nope the parent turns on their flashlight so then I'm thinking well maybe they're looking for medication or something like that it went on for five minutes and then I was like that's it I'm gonna go tell the the management you know so they go and I go get the management they come in and they instantly stop because I think they knew I turned them in which I kind of felt bad in a way, but I, okay, I have tendencies to be a controlling personality, right? We all know this. So I can't control that situation. The parents should control that situation, but they don't. So then I had to. And then the rest of the movie, I felt guilty. <laughs> I was like, oh, that poor kid probably was looking for something important. And I get to him, Sean, I was like, gosh, Sean, I feel bad now. Like we're at a kid's movie. We should, that was a legit white van. Oh no, it wasn't truck. We're good. Um, anyways, so we leave the Pooh movie, Christopher Robin, super cute, Ian McGregor, he's very cute. and, um, and the daughter in it, super cute. So then we go to the make. Okay. So I usually don't go see those movies, but we are new AMC A-lists. If you have not been AMC A-list, I'm telling you, it is the way to go. If you have an AMC theater in your, your neighborhood, do it. You pay $19.99 a month, so it's $40 for Sean and I. You can see three movies a week, 
no limits. You can go to IMAX, you can go to 3D, you can go to their special engagements, you can reserve early online, you can use them, the, the week goes from Thursday, no, Friday to Thursday, you can watch all of your movies in one day. So we went and saw Christopher Robin and The Meg in one day and used our AMC A-list. You get discounts on all the food and stuff. Like, it's legit amazing. Like, it's movie pass to the extreme, which now movie pass doesn't really work. So anyone that did do movie pass, you need to move over to AMC A-list. Amazing. So anyways, tangent. So because of AMC A-list, we got to go to a second movie. And so I said, Sean, I want to see Christopher Robin. You can pick the next one. And so he picked The Meg, which... The title, I was like, is it about a girl? No, it's about a shark. A huge freaking shark. Like, a shark that's as big as my house. So it's kind of a mixture between Jurassic Park and Jaws. Surprisingly, it was very good. Number one, yeah, there is two sharks. That's a spoiler alert. Hashtag spoiler. Miss Kate Cuttables. Spo you have to say spoiler alert so people can look away. Oh my gosh, I have to now, I am going to have to reach out and educate you on spoiler because I do that all the time. I spoil stuff all the time and forget about it. All right, so there's two sharks, just to let you know. First of all, there's previews before the movie and there is a preview for a movie called The Nun and I screamed. I usually don't scream in movie theaters. I screamed in that one. I don't like things that jump out and scare me. I can handle torture movies. I can handle like the Saw movies. I can handle that. What I can't handle is creepy crap jumping out at me. I like it and stuff like this. So the Nun preview, if you go to that movie, just leave and get popcorn unless you like to be scared because it looks not, it's not no legit, no good, no, no bueno. Don't look at it. Don't look at the nun. Don't look at it come, no, no bueno. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, so the movie started. It's got Jason Hottie Batati. I think it's Stratham or Strahayam or I don't know. So two little tidbits, another tangent. Sorry, we'll get back to that. Do you know, random fact of the day, that Pooh Bear, Christopher Robin movie, is not gonna be in China? It's not. You wanna know why? I looked into this. So. China has their own Facebook, I guess. So, like, they don't have Facebook, but they have, like, a China Facebook. And on China Facebook, people have been comparing the emperor of China or whatever he is. I don't know if it's an emperor or president or something. To how much he looks like Winnie the Pooh. Like, they're side by side. I'm not even kidding. Google this if you think I'm making this up. Google why you cannot see Christopher Robin in China. And so, because the citizens of China are making a joke of their leader as... Winnie the Pooh, they blocked that movie from screening. Not even kidding. Legit. I am not even kidding. So then I looked at it and I was like, anyone that is a little chubby looks like Winnie the Pooh. Like, you could put Winnie the Pooh up next to my little chubby face and we would look exact, exactly alike. Like, I don't necessarily think he looks like Winnie the Pooh. I think he's just chubby. And chubby people look like Winnie the Pooh because he's chubby. Because he's eating honey all the time. Wow, this coffee's kicking in. I didn't like it at first, but now I like it. Okay. Okay, so we were talking about Winnie the Pooh, so the Meg... Oh, the reason I went on that tangent is, if you watch the Meg, you're going to realize that it has a lot of people you don't know. And they're actors from, like, China. Because they said they made that movie to appeal to the Chinese audience. Because I guess it's a huge box office market. Box? Wait. Box? Oh, my God. She is going to, legit, she is going to be like, why is that guy? Because I'm sitting halfway in my garage and halfway out my garage. Hi. Hi. Okay. So they made the movie for the, the Chinese audience, right? So there's a lot of actors I didn't know in it, I think, that are, you know, Chinese. So anyways, that had nothing to do with the movie. I just wanted to let you know that. Uh, so Jason's the only one character I really knew in that movie. Oh, and the guy from The Office is in it. He played um, Dwight. Rain Wilson. Is it that it? Rain Wilson? Um, okay, so I'm like, I have low expectations of this movie. Like, I don't like these movies. They're kind of stupid. It was really fun movie. It was, it, except for the humpbacks. Oh, I can't even, like, I can't even think about it. Like, it had some parts where it was scary. It had some part where this, you know, the shark, I mean, it's a shark movie. There is something really funny about a dog in it. I won't spoil it for you, but it's really cute. Um, so that was cute. But there was 
a part of me was like, okay, so this Megalodon gets out. It's huge, right? Big. How, if you're in the water, how do you not see this big freaking shark, right? Is it like Sharknado? No. <laughs> Sharknado, I can't even talk about Sharknado. <laughs> if you've not seen Sharknado and you need to laugh, watch them. There's like 10 of them now. They are so funny. It is not like Sharknado. It is um, basically... They go to the lowest depth of the sea and realize they can go even lower, right? And then the Megalodon gets out, right? Oh my gosh. Okay, another tangent, thanks to Miss Kate Cuttables. I watched The Ring. I didn't pick up my phone for like weeks. Weeks. That movie was so freaking mind scary. I didn't pick up my phone for weeks. If you don't know what we're talking about, watch The Ring. <laughs> and then you'll know, don't pick up the phone. Eh, burr. There was a whole string of videos like that. Like, there was the the ring. There was the... That one had Sarah Michelle Gellar, right? The ring? Yeah. But what was the other one like the ring? Blair Witch Project came up, but there was one kind of like the ring where the little girl's head twisted around and did all sorts of stuff. What was that called? It was like the ring. And the, Wait, no, the ring was the one where the girl comes out of the TV and she's like... Bleh, 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 bleh. Yeah, nope. No bueno. Those are all based on, like, Japanese horror movies. Poops knee deep. I don't know what that means. Okay, so the Meg was really good. So um, I am not, I don't, so seriously, halfway through the Meg, I got in trouble. You guys are going to laugh. So I'm so bad. So I just turned in those little kids that had a flashlight. Okay, I cannot focus. You guys know this. So in a theater, it's super hard for me to focus. So I turn my brightness down on my phone. I turn everything on my phone. And every once in a while, I'll get on my phone, right? But the brightness is super low. Sean always is like, get off your phone, and I get off it real quick. The guy right next to me, once again, here's Ken's controlling tendencies, right next to me, sneaks in candy. Don't care about that. You can sneak in candy and stuff. Nothing is worse than at a movie theater and someone opening candy through the entire movie and then chewing with your mouth open. I, I don't know why that's a pet peeve of mine, but just close your mouth. So he's literally, and then chewing and stuff. So I got like, I got kind of mad, and so I pulled a total... D move, a total D move. And I started <laughs> talking to people on Messenger right next to him. Is that childish? Yes. Is that, um, you know, not the right thing to do? Yes. Could have I got kicked out? Yes. But was it fulfilling? Absolutely. Yes, it was. <laughs> so he literally had he had M&M caramels, he had Skittles, he had Whoppers, he had Gobstoppers, like any time a candy literally, um, uh, opening it and so then I started like scrolling. So, oh, you guys. So the last one I did was when I was in the Megalodon, you see stingrays and I was like, oh my God, I'm going on a cruise and I'm going to go swim with stingrays. So we're not going to go on that anymore. So I went to go text the people I'm going with saying, we are no longer doing stingrays. I watched the Meg. There's a Megalodon. We're going to all die. And he literally looked <laughs> over at me and he goes, dude, could you mind not getting on your phone because it's annoying? And I said, dude, it's about as annoying as you opening every single package and uh, chewing with your mouth open. Like, I never do that. And he, I think, tried testing me because he waited five minutes and then opened the next package and I instantly got on my phone. <laughs> and then he stopped. I know that is so petty of me, but like... I can't, I don't know why I don't, I just, I can't. That's the reason why I literally usually don't go to the movies that much because in the, my house, I don't have to deal with that. And nothing, like, the movie sells the nosy, nosiest, no, wait, noisiest, noisiest um, food. Like, candy wrappers are, like, I couldn't imagine seeing A Quiet Place in a theater. There's no way, which that was also a very good movie, The Quiet Place, but there's no way I could have watched that in a theater because you would have heard every single crunch, snap, crackle, and pop. Just saying. Medea. <laughs> we don't have drive-ins here. Super sad. So anyways, that, those were... The two movies we saw, really good. We still need to go see another movie um, because we get to see three a week and we have one more to fulfill and Sean really wants to go. So I don't know what we'll go see. I think he wanted to see something called The Spy in Me or The Spy Who Does Me or The Spy. I don't know. It's got Mila Kunis and someone else in it. Um, 
I, we had a drive-in when I was a little kid and they closed it. And I love the drive-ins. Number one, if it was a scary movie, I could do something else because drive-in and scary movies do not mix. Oh, hi, Auntie Toe. <gasps> Mother fudger that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so the Ewoks block my rear. I can't see anything. So I just saw a guy in my mirror. Well, your side mirror, people are a lot closer. <laughs> and I thought he was literally right there. Like, I thought he was coming right up on me. And I was like, dude. And he's like walking a little tiny dog. That's so funny. I need to simmer down with people walking behind me. So anyways, our drive-in closed a long time ago, which is sad because it was awesome. Um, and they never brought one back. They should bring one back because those are fun. I remember because do you now though, like I've never been to a drive-in now because as an adult, do you use your FM radio to now do it? Because remember when I was a kid, they put something in your window. So your only speaker was right here in your window. That was it. So it didn't have the best sound quality, but I remember it was like $3 a whole car. So you could have like a bazillion people in your car and get in. And drive-ins, just so you know, drive-ins is where normally people in scary movies die. Mm -hmm. True fact. They do FM now. Well, I want, maybe I should open a, a drive-in theater. I might do that. Oh my gosh, doesn't that mean something bad? I was itching. I was just itching, guys. Don't hate me. Um, all right, so, uh, do it. Okay. Oh, I love Ratatouille. I love almost all the Pixar movies. There was only one Pixar movie I wasn't wild about, and it was A Bug's Life. I wasn't wild about A Bug's Life. One of the un most underrated Pixar movies that people need to watch is a, a Good Dinosaur. It didn't do well in the theaters. I love The Good Dinosaur. It is such a good movie until the end, and then you're going to not just cry, you are going to sob and have a panic attack cry, type of cry, because it's so sad. But it's so good. I love Pixar. But it's very underrated. It didn't do well, so it's hard to find any merchandise and anything like that. I need to make it to the Pixar Pier because I want to go on the credit coaster. We love Pixar. Um, yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't make a lot of money in the film industry. Pfft. I think the Meg opened to like 110 million dollars. I can't even believe that. So, anyways, um. What else I want to talk to you guys about? So normally I kind of plan my Ken from the car and it usually is between 1.30 and 2. So I have like little things I'm already with and stuff like that. And the digital mystery box, they didn't tell us when it was going to release. They just said, hey, be ready. The Disney digital mystery box will release. And it was like, boom, right when I got up and I was like, well, now I have to go get everything ready. So that's why I was even late to it. So I don't have a lot of stuff like ready to talk to you about except for my life, which it's been kind of boring because I've been traveling so much because we went to Salt Lake City, came back, Salt Lake City, came back. Well, I went and then I went to Orlando, which was kind of nice. So I don't know much about planes, but I think if you're on a longer flight, the plane goes up higher. Because my, fl oh, that's just my reflection. Okay. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> so the plane from here to San Francisco, I swear I could see like land the whole time. But from San Francisco to Orlando, all I saw was clouds. And I will say I've overcome my fear of flying, but it is, it's not really funny. But when people sit there, the, the pilot comes on and says, hey guys, we're about ready to hit a storm and it's going to be a little shaky here. People freak out. You'll literally be in like, like they hold on and, and they freak out. The flight from San Francisco back to Spokane was super shaky. Like literally like, like, oh, it was bad. I should have taped it. Um, Cricket Makeathon, I saw, I think I saw that question. It was great. It was completely different from the last year's Makeathon. What was in the digital mystery box again? Oh my gosh, there are so many questions. Let me do the digital mystery box and then we'll talk about Cricket Makeathon. Okay, I'll do this quick because I've shown it already once. So you get Disney Zoom Zooms. It's $29.99. Disney Zoom Zooms with their butts. You get Mickey Spooktacular, which is uh, characters in costumes. You get this, which is Disney classic scenes. Some of them are draw feature. You get Tangled the series. You get Zootopia. You get Zootopia, but those are upside down. You get... Simba's Love Child, The Lion Guard. I think that's what it's called. Lion Guard. You get Zoom Zoom font. So you get almost like 95 images and a font set for $29.99. Super good deal. 
Once it goes away, I don't know how long it will take for those images to come back, so I would purchase it. Discounts don't work, unfortunately, because it is licensed. Um, what were we going to talk about before that? Oh, Makeathon. So this year's Makeathon was completely different from last year's Makeathon. Last year's Makeathon, they released the Maker, the Easy Press, and the Bright Pad, so it was all about that product and then educating us. This one was all about classes and learning more about the Cricut software and the Cricut machines. They did have some um, guest speakers for inspiration. Anna Griffin did an, uh, an amazing FAQ. If you guys don't, have never really watched Anna Griffin or or maybe are like, oh, I'm not into her styles. She is actually really funny. Like in her class, she's kind of like me. She'll start going and go down these little tangents and then try to bring it back. But she's really funny in my opinion. But um, it was really good. It was a ton of people. Um, it We got classes and they did a really nice giveaway at the end. I didn't understand what Ashish was doing at the end. He was like picking favorite things and putting them in a clear cellophane wrap uh, uh, bag. And I thought like he was gonna draw someone because he was like, oh, our metal ruler is one of my favorite things. Oh, the pens are my favorite things. Oh, this is um, my favorite thing. And then he threw a bright pad in. I'm like, oh, who's going to win this? This is great. And then he was like, all of you are getting this. It was crazy. So when you left the, the event, you got these big packages with a bright pad and pens and the new true control blade and the, uh, a ruler, all of that stuff. So it was really, really cool. Um... I love Rocky Horror Picture Show. I didn't like Fox's rendition of it. Fox redid it. I didn't like it. You know what I'm watching? And it is crazy. So we just watched Feud, which is about Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. And it was really good. So then I saw that they had a show called um, The Assassination of Versace. Right? Versace. Yes. Yes. So I thought it was gonna be more about Versace. It's not, it's about the guy who killed him and he's like a serial killer and he killed like five people and it's about him. It has the guy from Glee. His name's Darian Chris and he is a psycho in this show. Like legit psycho. That lady is driving so slow. I know American Horror Story is coming back. I wonder what this season's gonna be about. I wasn't big on last season. It was about the election and cult leaders. It was all right. My still favorite is Coven, which is most of people didn't like Coven. I loved Coven. Coven was awesome. Yeah. All right. So for anyone, last little tidbit, for anyone who travels a lot, I highly, 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 highly recommend TSA PreCheck. It is amazing. So you pay $85 and it's good for five years. I don't know what they do to make you, like if they do a background check or what, like the process was easy. It kind of made me nervous at first because I was like, Sean, all we had to do is bring our passports and they take a photo of us and we're TSA pre-check. Like how seriously, like that can't be safe. Couldn't just a terrorist do that? Maybe they wouldn't have a passport. I don't know. It took me five minutes and... Um, but it is amazing. Like you go into your own special little row and you don't have to take your shoes off. You don't have to pull out any of your laptops. You don't have to do anything. You get through quick. So when I got to Orlando on Sunday, I saw their general boarding line to get through security. It at least was an hour and a half wait at least. And TSA pre-check, I was in and out in 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So do it. If you travel a lot, Sean made me do it. I didn't want to do it at first. Cause I was like, it's $85. Here we go. Oh, so much better. Oh my gosh. See, that lighting is so much better. I look so skinny now. Mm hmm Kevin. Okay, so if you do not watch American Horror Story, American Horror Story, I didn't get this at first. We watched the first season, which is really weird. There's a rubber guy. I don't know. It was weird. So the season ended and things happened to where you're like, um, how are they going to do a second season of this? Uh, they change it every season. It's new, right? So the first one was about murder house. And then the second one was asylum. That one was freaky as F. I'm just telling you that right now. It was freaky. Um, third season, I think was coven. I think third was coven. I don't know. I lose track. There was one coven. Then there was one that was freak show. There was one where they were about the, 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 oh, the other one was good was the one where it was, um, American Horror Story. It was the one where they were in the forest and there was the butcher. I don't remember what it was called. American Horror Story, Ron Roanoke, Roanoke. Yeah. Roanoke. It was so good. A lot of people didn't like it, but it was great because you're watching it and all of a sudden you realize, oh, this is like 
a reality show and then they go back and do a, a show on it. Like, it was so good. Um, that's what I heard. I heard the new one is going to be a coven because coven was my favorite. Coven was about witches and it was very campy and it was very, um, it was just really, really good. And he always uses kind of the same characters and they kind of interweave, but Kevin was my favorite. It was based in New Orleans and I loved it. So if they're doing that mashed up with Murder House, it's great because he's slowly like intertwining all the stories. So like, I think they're all the same. So I'm missing one. How did it go? It went Murder House, Asylum. I could have swore Kevin was next. Kevin, Freak Show, Roanoke, and then I guess, yeah, and then... The last one, which was Colt. I'm pretty sure that's right. So, all right, guys. So, I'm going to be leaving soon. I just want to give you an update on my Ray Dunn. So, Ray Dunn has overtaken my life, as you all know. People are sending me stuff, which is super awesome of them. I discovered a very, 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 very... When are we going to see you presenting on HSN? That is the question of the hour. So, you are now taking me down another tangent. Let's follow Ken down the tangent. So, I my dream is to be on HSN. Um, so I didn't realize how hard that dream was. So HSN, I found out, does not just hire people to present. They kind of do, but they don't really. So like, it's really hard to just apply at HSN and say, I want to be a presenter, put me on TV. How people get into HSN is they work with companies. So like if a company, i.e. Cricket, goes to HSN and says, we want to sell this machine, they'll say, do you have someone to present it? And they have Anna Griffin and Beth Kingston. And I think Damask Love does it for Cricket. And so then they go on. So then if a company comes and doesn't have someone to present, they'll usually say, here's some people that other companies have used, have fun. So you kind of have to find a company first and then go with the company to be on HSN. So part of my process of working by myself now or working for myself is making contacts with those companies and hopefully if they ever do go on HSN I can present for them. It is legit a dream of mine. Um, I've talked with them. I've sent, you know, information and a reel. Never heard back, which I, I get it. There's probably a ton of people that want to be on HSN. I would have to lose weight because the camera adds like 100 pounds. I'm just saying. Um, so hopefully that's a dream that will come true someday. Um, yeah, so Ray Dunn t is overtaking my life, but there's Halloween stuff. So if you go if you go to a Home Goods, a TJ Maxx, or a Marshalls and see Halloween stuff, just grab it. Just buy it and grab it. People are fighting. People are legit getting into fist fights over Ray Dunn. People, it's just pottery. I mean, it's amazing, but it's just pottery. So, anyways, that was my quick little update. Hi, can they be used for commercial or personal use? Um, are you talking about the digital mystery box? So the digital mystery box cannot be used for commercial use because it is a licensed image. So Disney owns the images. So Cricket pays Disney a licensing fee to resell these. But for us, we are not able, like you can design stuff for yourself and use it. Um, but you can't design stuff and sell it because it's a licensed image. That's the same. So if you go to Cricket's website, any website, this is actually any website. So Anyone that makes their own files, like Miss Kate Cuttables in here, um, Disney, any company that makes images or own images, they should have on their site called an angel policy. And the angel policy is what you want to read because angel policy tells you what you can and cannot do with those said images. So there are some sites that sell like personal use images and then there's some that sell like commercial images and they usually charge more for the commercial image because in their angel policy it talks about how you can resell it and stuff um so yeah i'm not even gonna tell you how i feel about we are memory keepers being part of american crafts so um i don't know what hookup you have but we used to have the hookup hmm. um american crafts like literally owns everything now they bought so they have heidi swap we are memory keepers they just bought bow bunny they have, of course, all of their stuff. Like, they're overtaking everything, I think. Um, I think. So, anyways. Um, and they have some of their products are good, but some of them, um, it just depends. You get what you pay for. Um, and stuff. They have, Their new thing they're pushing right now, We Are Member Keepers, is where you take this wire and you bend it. They bought die cuts with a view. See, this is why I really... I'm kind of going down this path of just supporting local small businesses. Because... Um, 
I really, 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 really like to support the people that are, you know, kind of like me and they own their own business and they're doing their own thing. And I think that's great because sometimes we get lost in the big, you know, you go to Michael's and they have the big names in there and stuff like that. So, um, it's nice to support local companies. So, all right, guys. Well, I, um, sorry that this Ken from the car was a little all over the place. Um, yes, I met Andrew. So yes, Andrew, um, he was the one at Creativation, I think, in the We Are Memory Keepers booth. He was really nice. Um, so uh, he did HSN. I think Damask Love did one of their things, We Are Memory Keepers. I think she did their new, like, it was, when I saw her online, it was where she lined up letters on a punch board and then could stamp on it. So it positioned things just perfectly. Um, and that was the last time I saw We Are Memory Keepers. So let me know what you guys are doing for the 24-hour craft sale. That is today. I will be back tonight with a really fun video um, to show you how you can make cards super quick and scrapbooking pages super quick. And I also have an unboxing to go along with that. And that will probably be at, um, I'm going to shoot for 4.30 um, and stuff like that. Uh, so I'll be back then. Um, sorry, like I said, <laughs> this Ken from the car was super early. Um, let's see here. So HSN has 24 hour craft sale today. At least I think it's today. I'm pretty sure it's today. I could be wrong, but I thought it was today, right? Yes. Damask Love does has an online shop. She's on that show right now making it. It's really good. It's funny. It's really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, it is today. So a lot of people are watching the 24-hour craft event. I'm going to go see what's out there. I'm not going to spend any money. I'm trying not to spend any money. Um, don't forget to get this digital mystery box. This digital mystery box is a must. So I usually tell you guys if I'm in love with a digital mystery box or if I think it's okay or, you know, this one for $29.99 for licensed images is huge. Huge, 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 huge. So um, I would definitely get this. If you're not a Patreon yet, look down below. Become a Patreon. You can help support uh, Ken. And I get you guys digital files. I get you a cool magazine every month. We have drawings. We gave away a mink last month um, and stuff like that. So take take a look at it and see the different levels. And um, as we grow, my goal with uh, my Patreon is eventually to get Sean to be able to do Ken's creations full time with me. Um, it's uh, it's fun to travel, but without him, it's uh, I have to do a lot more work, first of all. Uh, second of all, you know, he does get bummed out because he feels like, you know, yeah, that he's not uh, a part of it. How much does it cost to sponsor you? I don't know what you mean by sponsoring me. Patreon, there's different levels from a dollar all the way up to $15 uh, or $30, I believe. Um, so I don't have the sponsoring on YouTube yet. So I have to be at 100,000 subscribers to be able to sponsor. And all you would do is sponsor and you get rewards. Um, very rarely do I take payouts from companies to do videos. So for example, if someone sends me a product to do in the mail or review, I usually don't ask for compensation because I don't want that to influence my um, review of that product. Because if I tell my audience, hey... I was, I'm being paid, you know, cause you have to say that if you're being paid by a company to do a video, you have to say this video is sponsored by, or this video I was compensated by. That's part of the rules. So I feel like if I'm being compensated, it could tell my audience, well, is this, is he being truthful and honest because he's being compensated? So very rarely have I ever been compensated for a video. So that was a long answer. I don't know if that was the answer you were looking for at all. Oh my gosh, that was too funny. So for everyone across the nation, if you're near a fire, I am thinking of you. I'm seeing devastating photos and pictures. So my prayers are with you. Um, to everyone that does support me, I appreciate you 100%. Uh, thank you for staying with me these last month while traveling. I know we have been all over the place with our live videos just because with me being out of town and then coming back, um, I didn't do a video. We're trying to do videos on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday going forward and then adding like you know, Ken from the cars or, uh, taste tests and stuff like that. Um, I have a lot of partnerships with companies that I'm going to be doing videos for. So that is all coming. And, uh, tonight we have a fun unboxing and, uh, video showing you how to make quick cards and scrapbook pages. And tomorrow we're doing a scoring tool or a score, uh, blade, uh, on the maker and showing you how to do a really cool 3d project with that. So that'll be tomorrow. So, um, I look forward to seeing
Have an amazing day. I will see you guys all at 4.30. Bye.